Good morning, guys. So today we're going to be working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And I've got six colors and my white. So I have um, Fire Opal by Folk Art mixed equal parts Floetrol to paint. I have Deco Arts Extreme Sheen Gold mixed equal parts Floetrol to paint. Right here is our Tezza's Prussian Green. I absolutely love this color. Um, the pigmentation is amazing and when you pour it, it just, it blends so well with other colors. Um, I can't say that it'll blend well with the Fire Opal, but, cause that would make brown. So we'll, we'll find out where it's all about layering. So uh, this was mixed one ounce paint to six ounces of Floetrol. You can really extend Arteza's paint. Um, so um, a small tube of it goes a long way. The four ounce packet goes even further. So those are the first three colors. The second color is Liquitex Heavy Bodied Deep Turquoise. Uh, it's not as dark as I usually use it. I wanted to lighten it up a little bit, so what I did was use more Floetrol. There is about an ounce and a half of paint in here to about 15 ounces of Floetrol. Um, enough for the stick to stand up on its own. It's a great consistency. A slight mound over a mound and then a slight trace and it all disappears within a couple of seconds. This is Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue. Um, this has about two to two and a half ounces of Prussian Blue in it, and then about 15 to six, uh, fifteen or so ounces of Floetrol, and it's a beautiful color. So I do love that Prussian Blue. And then last but not least is Liquitex, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple and I mixed that equal parts. Nope, I did not mix it equal parts. I mixed it two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And it was really thick, so I had to add about another ounce of Floetrol. So the final mix for this is three ounces of Floetrol to one ounce of the paint. All right, last but not least is my white. The white that I use is Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic Paint. It comes in a liter bottle. And I mix this two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then after I'm done mixing it, I then put the DecoArt Satin Enamel um, in pure white, about a tablespoon to two, 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 two tablespoons is in here. Um, and then I just mix it up. So it is on the thicker side, but it's about the same thickness as my other paints, and that's what I want when I'm going for this. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do today, but um, my uh, Galaxy series has uh, finished. My End of the Sea series, I think we're good with that. So let's just make something beautiful. What it turns out to be, nobody knows. So we're going to put some white in my cup because I do want a little bit of a white center. All right, we're going to add the Prussian blue. Some purple. The fire opal. I'm gonna go back to the blue.
So it has um, snowed here for th basically two and a half days now. Yesterday we had work and today my boss decided that there was not going to be any work because uh, the roads are pretty bad out there. And uh, I'd say in total we've probably... Uh, my cat, Moo, come on, down. Hold on one sec. <laughs> come on. No, no. All right, good boy. Um, I'd say we've gotten close to 12, 13 inches of snow. My mom lives a couple uh, miles away in another town, and she only got two inches of snow yesterday, and we ended up getting like nine, um, which was pretty crazy. Amazing what a couple of miles does. She lives on the seacoast, so I guess that's how they kept it away. The coast doesn't always get more or less per se, but in this storm, that's how it worked out. do a little bit of white here and then we're good so let's see here yeah my cup is a mess I don't want to drip it on everything so so I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see in the next week or so um, for paintings. Um, do you want me to continue down this road? Do you want me to go back to the Ninja Swipe? Um, I did love the split wing pour and I have a couple more canvases to do that on. that is that but let me know um, I might end up putting up a um, a poll to see what you guys would like to see in my community tab I didn't have my torch on me. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And here we go.
awfully pretty. Let's see here. Don't want to waste any paint. Gotta get it all out of that cup. <laughs> Just gonna put that to the side. So when I was pouring the paint out, I started here, then twisted my cup, let it run a bit, and then brought it back. And you can see where I had turned the cup because I get all this circular motion in here. And I'm gonna bring you guys in so you can see it. But this is where I turned the cup. And then I brought it back. And we'll see how it does. And there's the other turned side but we'll see all righty i bring you in closer but then you wouldn't be able to see anything so i'm gonna go over here first i'll let it roll over just a smidge And bring it back. I'm loving the center cell. These cells in here have developed white stripes in the center of them, which is pretty cool. There are so many cells in this one. We'll see how it does. Just bringing it back. I know that you can't see it, but you can see the general direction in which I'm moving it in. The 
This right here looks like a pinky purple sunset. We'll see how this one turns out. Just letting it go over a little at a time. I'm bringing it back fast because I don't want to and every time I bring it back to the center to rebalance the paint. Love this. Ah. My arms are getting tired. Boy, it's just doing whatever it wants to do today. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to bring it over here. And then bring it back. I'm just going to go straight over that edge, hopefully. happy with how this one has turned out. I, it looks, definitely looks like um, a sunset, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. I'm not going to complain about that. Who doesn't love a beautiful sunset, right? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should not going to tilt any more off because it doesn't really need to. The paint's not going to crack. <clears throat> I get a lot of questions like that. They wonder if uh, my paint will crack or anything like that, but it doesn't. I've been very lucky. I think it's because I use Floetrol. Um, I don't know. But I don't use any additives. Sorry, guys. I just got to wash my hands off. I don't dare put my hands near that canvas. Um, I don't use any additives in my paints, no silicone. I did not use any water. It is strictly paint and Floetrol. I'm gonna bring you guys in and then we'll be done. Okay. Oh, this one's so pretty. See those stripes? And I wish um, I had the ability to bring you guys in, but when the paint was moving back and forth, the color beyond, behind the stripe cell was changing purple to blue to dark purple and blue again. So it was like it was floating over everything, which I thought was really, really cool. And I love this area. Uh, pardon that. <laughs> it's my dream. Okay, guys. So, um, so far, this is the only one today, and this is today's pour, but I'm definitely going to be doing more because I'm home all day, and I'm really excited. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the wonderful support and love that you've shown me. Um, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. 
So I have a PayPal me link in the video description. Um, if you are interested in uh, making a donation to the making of beautiful art um, by me. And um, what else? I have uh, the Lole Vefe silicone mat link in there as well. You use that link in the coupon code Sarah5. You'll save uh, some money off your mat order. They have small and jumbo mats. They're great. I did not use it for this one because I plan on painting all day, but I will be putting one under my uh, next pour. Um, also, the Arteza links are in there. You can use uh, my coupon code um, that is, is good as well. That code will be in the video description. My links to social media, Instagram, Facebook, and an email are also below where you can um, contact me for sales, check out my other posts. All my artwork is for sale, so you will see that all on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, just message me. So I want to thank you guys so much. If you liked this, please like this and uh, send a comment if you'd like. Um, but subscribe so you'll get notifications of when a video goes up. Have a great day. Bye.